Hello everyone, Tobin Industrial. Uh, you may have noticed, uh, before I forget, uh, my YouTube account. Uh, YouTube had this uh, sort of program where they would encourage people to use their their uh, uh, their main name, their their name on their YouTube account. So, uh, some time ago, maybe about a month ago, I received a correspondence from YouTube and changed from Tobin Industrial to my to my actual name, so you may uh, you may see some videos and not recognize the name, but uh, uh, it's still my last name is Tobin, so uh, you'll you'll recognize uh, the videos, and hopefully uh, you won't uh, be wondering who it is, and you'll be looking to unsubscribe. I encourage you to keep the subscription and keep liking and keep commenting. Anyway, uh, today uh, I decided to do a brief video on um, a fuel sensor repair. Uh, what you're currently looking at here is the fuel sensor for a Honda Magna. That's 83 to 86 or 87 Honda Magna motorcycle. Basically this here gets screwed into the reservoir and this here is uh, where your wires hook up and the wire goes through here and into this tube. This tube has holes in it and so there's a thermistor in here, as you may know, which is uh, opens and closes depending on how hot it is or how cold it is. When it sits into the fuel, it stays cold, and so it doesn't allow contact on these points here. Of course, when the fuel drops down below this probe, the thermistor in here uh, has current running through it, and all of a sudden, because the current is running through it, well, it's always running through, uh, because the gas is no longer there to fuel, it allows the thermistor to warm up and then the thermistor makes contact in here, sending power here and causing the light in the dash to come on. Now, you can buy these parts, I think, uh, for about $60, I believe. The actual part, the full complete part. But, if you so chose, you could order a... Uh, thermistor which is hiding over here somewhere. There he is. There. That's a thermistor. You can order that and I will tell you uh, I'll just zoom this in as best as possible for you. You'll see that number there, the SKU. That's what you need to know. That's the important one there. It's the 20F735. That's the little, if you research that online you'll find just thermistor. I'll zoom in all the rest of this information. You can pause if you want to get the extra information. If there's any information that's usable to you. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway. Uh, I got this from Newark. And it's a thermistor. You go online and you'll see the information on how... On uh, the, the actual thermistor that you need to order. To, uh, to repair the fuel low fuel sensor. Of a uh, Honda Magna fuel system. Anyway, so basically it's very easy to uh, to do the repair. Well, if you're, if you're handy with the, if you're handy with uh, some soldering techniques, uh, this one here you'll see I have uh, several of these. I, I repaired one and already got one on my motorbike. I got two more here to repair. Uh, you, you gently pull the, this plastic out of the shaft here because what happens is the old thermistor, after about 20-25 years, it becomes... Well, basically the gas just breaks it down. You know, it uh, just dissolves. You can see that, you know, the, the part that I showed you is pretty small. So anyway, you uh, it's gone. So you, what you need to do is, uh, you need to unsolder here. There's a hole here. You don't, Now, it's still, I got to remove this, but right here you remove the solder. And there's a hole in the center that your thermistor wire comes up through. And of course you saw the other end of the thermistor on this side. Make sure that it doesn't touch the, the casing inside here when you put it in. So basically your thermistor goes in, you know, just one, one leg goes to here and the other leg goes to there and so it just wants to be sitting there just just long enough to fit into that tube. And then you reinsert this of course. When it's all said and done, of course, it's the last thing you do. You push it up and then you got that soldered and then that's the last point you solder here. Make sure these holes are open and the holes along the side here are open so the fuel can get back into cooled uh, 
thermistor properly so the light doesn't come on and then when the fuel drops out of this this uh, probe, the shaft, the thermistor with the current running through uh, warms up and causes us to make connection. So anyway that's pretty well it. I'll, I'll take this out here for you just to show you how you may want to manipulate the thermistor to make sure that it uh, it's functional. And uh, it's just a, just a matter of taking the thermistor, I'm going to zoom this out a bit, just taking the thermistor and taking one of the legs and bending it down like that. So you got it like that. And of course one of these goes to the bottom of the, the uh, of the probe, we'll say, the cylinder, the small area here, this area. And the other one goes to the, just where above the cap. There's a soldering point here, so you can get that in there. So you just make sure that your thermistor is pretty well in the center, I guess, somewhere around there. So you don't want to have it too long or anything touching on the sides. It just wants to go right straight down through on the inside of this tube and make connection. And that is how you repair a fuel sensor, low fuel sensor, I should say. Um, the part at Newark is two dollars and ten cents. I ordered two. I should have got three, but uh, I don't know why. But I, uh, I, uh, I am going to repair one more of these uh, low fuel sensors. And um, uh, the shipping, I think, in Canada is twelve dollars. The whole package, two of these, shipped to my uh, post office box in. Uh, the UPS envelope that I showed you in the previous uh, video was $20. So anyway, that is how you can do a cheaper repair uh, of a low fuel sensor on a Honda Magna motorcycle. Um, if, uh, if that doesn't uh, burst your bubble, well, you can always buy the part for $60, which is not bad. Uh, now, you can get this on eBay, second hand, I'm assuming. I am, I'm certainly assuming that they're second hand and they go from anywhere from 35 to up to $80. I've seen them close to $100, but I wouldn't want to go that route. But I did I did find locally in Corner Brook, which is only about an hour away at um I think it's a Honda dealership out there that uh, they have this unit. Now, this is not uh the exact unit that they would have. It's uh is a universal, but obviously it has the same thread size and everything and the same depth. So they're still using the same model of uh, low fuel sensor in some of their equipment today. The motorcycles or whatever they have it in. So it's kind of like a universal part and it's about $60. So if you want to go that route, $60. Or if you want if you want to, and if you're in an area where you can actually drop by and pick up a thermistor, and there you go. I give you the reference number. $2.10 and maybe about uh, 20 minutes labor. Uh, that's not counting taking the fuel sensor out and put, installing it, but just say a full hour, two dollars and ten cents plus tax, we'll say whatever, and uh, an hour's labor to take it out, solder it, put it back in. Uh, that is quite the saving. So there you go. That's uh, that's about all I want to uh, discuss with that, and uh, I hope that uh, this is of some help to you, in case you ever need to replace your low fuel sensor in. Uh, your Honda Magna or similar device in some other motorcycle. Well, there it is. Thank you for watching, and uh, I certainly uh, uh, would ask you to please subscribe, and uh, positive comments are certainly accepted and appreciated. Thank you, and have a good day.